exercise is seven. Uh, this is the textbook. Uh, yeah, let's see number one. Calcul uh, how much can be borrowed from the bank if the borrower repays the loan by means of 48 equal monthly payments of 1,000 rands starting six months from now if the interest is 10.5% compounded monthly. Okay. Firstly, here let's find the loan. A equals to P1 plus I to the N. So we don't have that loan AP, but that loan will gain an interest of what is our I from the question? 10.5. So this is 0 0.105 over 12. Remember, I said 10, 5 over 100. Then divide by 12 since it's compounded monthly. And then, and Starting in six months time, which means the loan will stay in the account for five months before he start making the payments. So I have 0 0.105 over 12 to the 5. And then this will be repaid. And how do we get the repayment? 1 minus 1 plus i to the negative n over i. It will be repaid by those monthly payments. Then what is our x? X is the monthly payments, remember, that's given us 1,000. So we have 1,000. Then 1 minus 1 plus I is the same, 0 0.105 over 12. To the negative, we're given, this is 48 equal monthly payments. 48. Oh, come on, 0.05 over 12. Then let's solve for P, divide both sides by the coefficient of P here. Uh, so we have P equals to the left hand side 1000. 1 minus 1 plus 0, 0,05 over 12 to the negative 48. 0,05 over 12. Over 1 plus 0, 0,105 over 12 to the 5 and the half of p equals the sort of handwriting let's press our calculators so you are from calculator you get uh, 37,392,539 which is 54 cents and number two Jacob saves for a deposit on a house. He estimates that he will need 150000 in five years' time. He plans to make monthly payments into a savings account that earns 5% interest per annual compound, the same annual. To put on, show that I12 costs 8.8%. I12 means if you compound it monthly, and we're given it as compounded semi annual. To put on, this is how you do it. I to the M. This is not exponent, it's just in ex the way it's been expressed. 1 plus I uh, uh, M. This is M. Okay, we're given this as 1 plus. What is that? What are we given as 9% compound semi annually? And you will say 9 over 100 and you get 0, 0,09. Semi annual is twice in a year, two times in a year. So we are converting to. Uh, monthly, which is 12 times in here, 12, and then I'll calculate in the i. And we, let's try to simplify this 1 plus 0, 0,09 over, over 2. Oh, okay, it's the fraction 209 over 200. Then multiply both sides by 1 over 12 so that you can get rid of that exponent. So we have 1 plus i over 12 on the left, on the right. Then subtract 1 both sides. 209 over 200. 2 times 1 over 12, that's 1 over 6. Then you subtract 1. Ah, you can also multiply by 12. Right away, then it equals to i. Therefore, i equals to... Press your calculator. So you get 0 0,088.
3 5 multiplied by 100 then you get 8,8 percent remember said convert to one decimal so number two calculate his monthly payments if he makes his first payment in six months remember the first question he was talking about borrowing that was a loan right then this one he saves in money so we're no longer using that formula of p we're using this one of f right remember if someone saves money or make a sinking fund this is what we do f equals to but if it's a loan is p equals to let me just write the formula and plus i to the n minus one yeah okay then let us write the given information x this is what we're looking for f how much you want to save you want to save 350,000 350,000 then i percentage is our percent oh we convert to monthly so this is what you got when you convert into monthly you got 8.8 percent let's say 8.8 8.8 8, 8, 8, 8, 8 divide 100 and you get 0, 0.088 then this is over 12 because it's monthly then you plug the information it would make sense to say f gained interest for those first five months no this is a savings it's not a loan Cost x one plus i zero comma zero eight eight over twelve n oh I didn't get the n okay uh, save who well, he will need for three hundred thousand in five years time so it's five times twelve. 60 you subtract because it says he started in six months time so you subtract five because for the first five months he didn't pay then he started to pay on the sixth month so this is 55 minus one close everything over 0, 0.088 over 12 therefore x equals to 350 1 2 3 over 1 plus 0, 0.085 88 over 12 and then you get 5189.33 cents then on 2.3 calculate how much jacob will have saved will have or will have in his account after three years from now three years from now it says three which means n equals to three by twelve and you remember we have to subtract the first five months so minus five Oh, that what is <laughs> the returns 12 hey minus 5 there you are so n is 31 the rest is still the same so the formula f a yeah, 2.3 number 2.3 f equals to x in bracket 1 plus i to the n minus 1 over i and then uh f that's what you want x you calculate it is 5189 point 33 cents then 1 plus 0, 0,088 over therefore f equals to calculator so you get f equals to 1 79886.2940 then 2.4 I still have time mm, if Jacob stops his payment after the rest now and makes no further payment calculate how much will be short of the required 350,000 in five 